Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is Wednesday the 11th of December and we've just been to see Serrano de Bergerac. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm really clever, and you smell of poo. Well, that's not very nice, is it? I know, but it's my attempt at po- <gasps> Excuse me, poetry. Well, I don't think you should bother anymore. Oh, well, why am I doing poetry, Ricky? Because you you want people to think you're clever. <laughs> and I've got a big nose. You've got a massive hooter. We just went to see. I want to call it Serrano to Bergerac. I but did, you won't let me. but now it's Cyrano because that's what they said in the play. Oh right. Okay, right. Well, Cyrano de Bergerac. <laughs> that's what we went to see. <laughs> okay, that's what we went to see. Um, I'll give you a few facts from it, shall I? About it, shall Please. I? It was do. adapted by a guy called Martin Crimp. That's a good name. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, it was written by Edmund Rosta. Okay. <laughs> directed by Jamie Lloyd. Yeah. All right. I had loads of actors in it, but let me name a few. A, a guy you may have heard of called James McAvoy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Anita Joy Oadja, Ben Fregiedo, Michelle Austin, Adam Best, and Sam Black. Um, it's at the Playhouse Theatre and it's running till the 29th of February 2020. And the length was forever and ever and ever. Well, you don't know, do you? No. Well, why I, don't you know? Because I left at the interval. Why oh. did you leave in the interval? Oh, we'll get on to it if you like now. <laughs> okay. Oh. But I'll tell you what, why don't you give us a synopsis and then I'll tell you why I left this boring, patronising play. Okay, Cyrano Cyrano de Bergerac is a guy with a massive nose who loves a woman. She loves another. He (laughs) helps her. The the guy that that she loves is not as bright as Cyrano, but he's quite a hunk. So he basically sort of arranges this thing. It's quite weird where he... He speaks on behalf of this other guy uh, so that she hears Cyrano's words but sees this guy's looks. Yeah. She, that she falls in love, basically with both of them, but she thinks she falls in love with a hunk. Yeah. And then they go to war and he writes loads of letters and then she comes to see them and it all goes horribly wrong. Oh, it went horribly wrong for me before, uh, after about an hour and a half into the first act. Flipping act. You really hated it, didn't I you? I really did, and I'll tell you why I hated it. So, and I went in with high hopes, and it was an ensemble cast, and um, the staging looked great. It had like a white box, didn't it, to start with? Yeah. And that obviously opened up, and it was bigger. And but you had Cyrano at the back looking at himself in a mirror. Um, and I'll even excuse the fact that they didn't use a fake nose, so his nose was just normal size, it was normal which size. confounded me a little but bit. But they talked about it being big. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but you know. That is talking enough. Did it? Was it because James McAvoy is quite handsome? No. And Cyrano de Bergerac is not handsome. And you found that difficult? No, I'll tell you what I found difficult. Is that they cre- wrote this in in South London, awful, like, rap. There was a lot of rapping, wasn't there? But bad rap. And, you know, these, these words were not poetry. I think if I was to hear and suffer it, I don't think that you would love it. I could say it <laughs> off my head and then I'll go home and go to bed. It was like that. And I watched Victoria as the audience I feel like you're telling me left off something. in droves. Did they? Well, there was about five or six people. <laughs> That's not droves. Well, there was droves enough. Okay. Um, um, I just really disliked it and it was get, it just, I just it really didn't like it. Um, yeah, it was an an interesting choice of staging I felt I found um, in the second half which you didn't see there were some parts where the characters should should, it's like intimate moments where they should have been having physical contact and they talk about having physical contact but they just stood next to each other on the stage just talking and 
I sort of feel like they're trying to do something really clever, but it 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 just didn't really work. You didn't really mm. get the big love affair. You, you you didn't really. It was too up itself. I think you're absolutely right. I think they were trying to be way too uh, avant garde with it. Yeah. There was a bit. Like, there was a, sorry to interrupt. But no. There was a bit that I really liked towards the end of the first act, where you had like the villain of the piece, and you had the two guys, and yeah. you had is it I want to say Rotherway was it Rotherway? I can't remember. I'm talking about that. Anyway, uh, the love interest, and they were sat, and it was like musical chairs. They yeah. had two chairs fed to the back, two chairs fed to the front, and when they moved, the two people who were facing each, at the front talked, and I thought that was a really nice concept. Yeah. But it was all. Concept, concept, concept. I, yeah, I felt considering that ultimately it's a play about love, I just felt like it was emotionally lacking. Yeah. But I do feel that James McAvoy has got a really strong stage presence. Yeah. I actually, look, in fairness, I think the cast, I didn't have a problem, I thought the cast was very good. Yeah. I thought the cast was strong. I thought they were really let down by the writing. I mean, I was embarrassed at some of the lines. And it felt like... I'll I tell you what, it, it felt like panto season had come early. I think it was up and down. It, was up, it wasn't consistent. Some bits of it were better than others. I think it was... I don't know. It was just... The way it was directed, it was just... It was like someone just coming out of drama school and they're yeah. trying to do something really serious, but in a different way. Yeah, and, and also it was kind of like, hey, look, we're really cool. If you want to yeah. get, if you want to be really cool, you'll like this. That, They'd made it like try to make it street. Yeah, and, and it just wasn't. And I think some bits of it worked better than others. Um, I tell you where it lost it as well. There was a bit. I think he was either ta- he'd taken the voice of the other guy, so we was talking South London, and then he was doing the poetry. And it was supposed to be so sexy and powerful. And <laughs> it was driving me crazy. I'll tell you what, if I wasn't stuck in the middle of a row, <laughs> I'd have gone. And also we had a lot of chocolate. I could see you kept check- check- checking your watch. <laughs> it's always a sign, isn't it? You know, you yeah, know me so well. Yeah, James is not happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and very rarely. And uh, the other thing is I would have stuck through it but I was so annoyed at how long the first act was. It was... It was an hour and 40 minutes. It was long. It was long. How I, long was the second bit? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I did get fidgety. I did get a bit... I was all right in the first half, but I did get a bit fidgety. I just I just felt like there was... You know, there's a lot of promise there on the stage. A lot of... Yeah. Interesting cast members. But I and, thought... I thought the female love interest... Sorry, I can't remember her name. Yeah. But I'm sure it's one of those. But um, Roxanne, yeah. isn't it? Of so course it was. Yeah, they because of the... Steve, yeah. Steve Martin joke, didn't they? She was really smug. And maybe that's her character. I think maybe actually her character was supposed to be smug. But it was just too much what was everything else. Well, she's very beautiful. She's like the most beautiful person, yeah, isn't she? but she wasn't likeable. No. I no. Didn't li- I didn't like her and... And we were talking about Frank and, not Frankenstein, we were talking about Dracula, um, the new adaptation that was out at Christmas. Yeah. And the girl who plays Lucy in the third um, episode. Yeah. Now, she's supposed to be beautiful um, and very vain and all this kind of stuff. But, yeah. But you have to like her. And in the film version, um, you know, do you remember the film version? She's got red hair and... Yeah, she's really likable, and she's uh, laughing with Mina when you like her. Yeah, I didn't like this version, and I felt the same about um, what's her name again now? Rock, Rock Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne. Yeah, yeah. I just, it just was lacking in emotional warmth. Yeah, it was. I think coming out of drama school, being all too yeah. If you if you don't get it, it's because you're not as clever as us. Yeah, but I do think. Yeah, there was something really special about James McAvoy, though. Oh, well, he's a, well, not, I just thought he's he a brilliant had actor. such presence, so charismatic. I think, yeah, he's a brilliant actor. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, he, and I'm not taking And it's it. not like there weren't other good actors in the cast. There were, definitely. Yeah, but, but he, the way it was he really, staged yeah. didn't really bring out their best, I think. No, I agree. All right, um, stand that moment? Um, I don't really have one. I think for me, if I was going to choose, it would be that uh, um, musical chair bit. 
Oh, actually, I was just going to say, actually, that bit where James McAvoy does the uh, the London accent. Oh. He was brilliant. He, even though... Well, it was it wasn't funny to start bit, with. He, okay, but uh, I'm clutching at straws. Yeah, all right. Um, all right, I'm sorry. Shall we take a break and then we'll come back and score it? Yeah, I think you need one. You're quite <coughs> angry. Calm down. Have a bath. <laughs> all right, so we're back in the room. Okay, so... Um, audience antics, well, we were right up in the gods, weren't we? Yeah. And, I mean, you had to put, did you have to put a bag under your seat? Because the seats were so high. I couldn't put your little legs. Your little legs. I mean, I've only got little legs. I mean, you, you must think they're tiny at home, uh, Lister, but they're, they're kind of normal size. You're just small. They're normal size for someone of my height. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but also, I went to get the seats, and yeah. you, you went to go the for toilet. your 100th toilet break. My first toilet break. Um, and you, what, you were gone for about 20 minutes. Oh, because I dropped my bottle of water and it leaked and I had to go to the bar to get another bottle and I had to queue up for ages. Oh, my God. Yeah. And everyone thought I was there on my own. I know. Sorry about that. Then you turned up to go to the lounge. Um, yeah, really. Um, but I, d- I don't think the seats took away from... We didn't feel alienated from the performance. I wish I could feel a bit more. No, really. I did have to lean forward a bit to be able to see the front of the stage. Oh, I hate leaders. But we were near the back, so it was yeah, all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's the ones at the front, that's the problem. Yeah. Anyway, so we should, we should score this. Go on, then. All right, I'll kick us off. Right, performances, I've given it a seven. It's, I find it hard to judge because I just feel it wasn't... I didn't like the directing. So I think... It had a lot of potential. I'll go for an eight. Okay. Stage of the technical. Well, there wasn't really that much to write home about. I'm going to go for a six. Yeah, I've given it a six. Um, narrative plot. I've given it a three um, because I'm focusing on the awful pantomime-esque rhyming couplets that we had to endure for the whole flipping thing. Okay, I'm going to go for a five. Okay. Originality. Well, I think it was original, I guess. Yeah, it's not getting much from me, just to warn you. I'll give it a six. Yeah, it gets a three from me. Um, costume, nothing to write home about, four. Mm, yeah, five. And was it worth it? Gets a big fat one from me. I'm going to go... Well, I'm going to go for a six. Because even though I didn't love it, I do... I just think James McAvoy was, was great, and I... I'm glad I saw him. All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so while I score this, would you like to tell the listener what they're going to see Oh, yeah, next? I need to go into my calendar. I'm never prepared for this. I know, you do it every it's time. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So the next thing we're going to see... Oh, well, it's te- I'm not really sure whether... Is this something we'd review? We're going to see Tan- Sandy Toxvig. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're reviewing that, baby. a one-lady show. Oh, I'm excited about that. Not entirely sure what she's going to do. I'm hoping she's going to be telling some hilarious stories. I'm hoping she's got a box. Um, I'm hoping maybe she'll have some celebrity. Gig. Maybe Noel Fielding will come on. No, I won't be surprised. He'll come or to the opening Alan of anything. Alan Davis. Oh, Alan Davis. Or... Is he Welsh? No. Oh. Um, and that was a terrible Welsh accent, anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll see. Sandy Toxvig. I shall look forward to right. seeing your, your I've got, face. I've got the star. <laughs> I look forward to seeing yours. It's not for a while, though, is it? No. Right. So we get to a star rating of two point five. That's not great, is it? No. It's not at all. And this is the last, by the way, of um, 2019. Oh, sorry. Um, and it puts it, not at the bottom, just above It's a German Life, but below it, 9 to 5. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so, uh, worse than the It's a German <laughs> Life. But um, we'll talk more about that, I think, um, in our award show, which should be coming out um, not too long after you've heard this. Yeah. Um, but... Um, Thanks very much for listening. Thanks. It's been a good year, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm thinking of wrapping up the year, but we this we all know it's now January. So it's January. But but seriously, do thank us, do thank us for listening. <laughs> thank you for speaking, James. Uh, but again, if you know if you want us to come and review your show, we would be more than happy to, as long as you buy the tickets for us. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Certainly, if it's. Um, if anyone Harry from the, the National Theatre or the Old Vic or, or the Old Vic Royal Court or Theater, anywhere, let's be honest, Vicky. Anywhere or inside the M25 pub, is fine. Any pub theatre? I mean, literally. Yeah, we'll come and see anything. We'll we're come, not fussy. We're up for it. In fact, we kept, went to see a couple of pub theatres last year and they did very well, didn't they? 
We've seen some really good pubs. Do you remember the one we went to see the caravan? Oh, yeah, that was good, that wasn't was great, it? That one, wasn't it? Yeah, we've seen some really good. Yeah, so put your finger stuff, out, fringes. Um, yeah. Anyway, the lecture over. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God that for theatre fell. Oh. oh, Vicky, it's, that means the, curtain, the curtains down the theatre start. Why well, can't I remember this line? You are as good at that as I am at remembering what we're going to see next. You read it. So, the curtain's down, the theatre's dark, and that was 15 minute theatre. Good night. Oh, God, you should be on TV. Oh, well. Or at the theatre. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? If you're brave enough to have your theatre production reviewed, please contact us at 15minutetheatre at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter and please rate and review us on iTunes. Thanks for listening.